Hi, beautiful. It's Darlene. I wanted to make this quick video for you today. I had an inspiration when I was getting dressed this morning, and it's really rough around the edges. I jotted down some notes, and so if you see me looking over here, I'm remembering what I wanted to share with you, but it was so juicy. I didn't want to wait for it to be perfect and have it all figured out. I just wanted to get it out there to you. So the video is uh, on the topic of how to choose your energetic state so you can change your vibration and have access to whatever emotion you'd like to feel. So we're all energy. You are energy. I am energy. We live in an energetic universe. And if you're familiar with the energy world, the word vibration is common to you. If you're relatively new to it, vibration is basically uh, how you feel um, on the emotional scale. So we could, I'm going to kind of use those words interchangeably, vibration and emotion. A higher vibration are emotions such as joy, bliss, love. A lower vibration uh, are typically emotions such as depression, anger, um, sadness. So, to, you know, it's on a scale. So we're all energetic beings, right? Um, you have the ability to shift your energy by becoming aware of what you're presently feeling in your body and by making a conscious intent to unplug from that energy and plug in to a new energetic vibration. I'll, and I'll back up a little bit and share with you. This was like huge for me when I realized that I actually had a choice in the energy that I carried in my body. And it's almost like the choirs were singing in the heavens when I heard this, these bells went off. I was like, oh my gosh, I actually have a choice in what energy I carry in my body. When you get that, it's huge because that's the beginning of being able to consciously connect yourself to whatever you want to be feeling inside, regardless of what's going on externally. It's so exciting. So I was in a movement class, and this teacher was sharing with us that we can choose to carry um, you know, the energy of strength in our body, or we can choose the energy of playfulness and lightness, or we can choose a more meditative energy, you know, and, and we were playing with this through our bodies, but it works, you know, just from making the intent, which then does reflect into your body. So um, what I would like to invite you to do is to visualize the entire universe as an energetic matrix, okay? So with your mind's eye, you know, just see that we are in this whole sea of energy and there, it is a matrix that's going on. And we, we can't maybe see it with our eyes, but we can tap into it with our mind's eye, okay? So um, right now, you are energetically plugged into this matrix. And... I love using the analogy plugged in, just like you were plugging in a lamp into a socket. That is your connection into the energetic matrix. And you are plugged in with specific vibrations. So you can get a pretty good feel for where you're vibrating by how you are feeling in this present moment. So I don't know if you can tell, I'm like feeling pretty, uh, yeah, I have intentionally plugged into this vibration of joy and of lightness, and so it's probably coming through with so this video. check in and see with your mind's eye where you're plugged in in the universe right now based on what you're feeling. So you can just take a second and do that. And um, if you would like to shift your vibration and change it, what I'm going to invite you to do is to bring your awareness to your higher self, 
to just travel up to your higher self and ask your higher self to work with the energetic fields and you can also ask the guides to come in and support you too, your spiritual team to unplug from whatever vibration you don't want to be experiencing and then plug in or activate the vibration that you do want to experience. So if you're feeling on the lower side today, um, you want to check in and say, what is the energy of that? So I'm feeling a little um, sad, maybe. So you want to re make a request of your higher self to work in the energetic fields, in that energetic matrix, and assist you in unplugging from that vibration of sadness and then plug in to the vibration that you would like to experience. So you can use your emotional scale. Um, what would you like to be experiencing instead? Uh, and you can go along the range. There's a range where we go all the way up from the lowest vibrations to the highest vibrations. So you choose where you want to be and make that request in the energetic fields. And then that's it. You don't have to do anything else. You've made the request from your higher self to work with the energetic fields. And you can call in the support of your guides, of your spiritual team. And then you allow that connection to be made in the energetic matrix and have it brought to you in this experience. I love this, uh, and it's something that I've been practicing over the last year or two. It's completely changed how I've seen changing my vibration. What I used to do is run around and try to find something in the world that would assist me in changing my vibration. And I can still rely on this. Um, you know, I mean, there's certain things that will lift me, that certain people be, that I'm around that will lift me. And they can help me um, raise my vibration and resonate more to where they are. When you do this internally, when you ask your higher self to assist you in plugging in to the vibration that you want to experience, then it, it's from the inside, right? So nothing has to change on the outside, but the inside is completely different. And you're now sending out a new message, a new pulse to the universe, plus you're just feeling a lot better yourself, right? So I'm gonna invite you to try it out and and see what happens for you. Um, and the other piece that I wanted to bring just really quickly to you today is uh, when we start to play in the energy realm with vibration, when we know that we are energy and that we are a culmination of various vibrations that are going on that we're plugged into, we give ourselves access to all energies that are available. And what I wanted to say about this is, you know, some people can think that one emotion is better than another emotion. And when we look at it from the energetic perspective, it's not that one is better than the other, it's just that one creates a different experience than, than another. So when you're playing in the joy vibration, you're experiencing yourself in the world a lot differently than when you are in the realm of sadness, depression, frustration, anger, right? So they're, they're just varying um, frequencies, but they're not neither good nor bad. And why I love this is it, it never discounts what emotional state that you're experiencing. It doesn't make it bad, so it doesn't make you wrong for it. And it also gives you access to all of the energies that are out there, all of the vibrations. Because truthfully, you know, I mean, I like to hang out in joy and, and love and bliss, no question. However, as I'm going through my day, there's certain vibrations that are really helpful to call upon. So I made notes like, let's say you're going to have, um, you're, you're preparing yourself because you need to have what you feel is a difficult conversation with your boss or with your child. And you want to be very present for this uh, conversation. You want to be compassionate. You want to be able to um, hold that space, but you also want to be clear with your boundaries. You can call in those vibrational flavors to support you in that unique experience 
so that whatever energies you need that will support you to create whatever you want that conversation to look like will flow through. And then let's say later on in your day, you're, you need to sit down and you want to sit down and really focus on a project that you have going on. So now maybe you want to call on different energetic qualities, such as clarity, focus, um, you know, whatever those are that will support you in staying grounded maybe so that you don't get distracted and you don't get um, pulled away by bright, shiny objects, which <laughs> I know I can. So you can travel up to your higher self, request that your higher self um, plug you into those vibrations that you wish to experience working with the energetic yields. And then you allow that to come into your beingness. And so then you become those vibrations as you are working on so your project. I to bring this to you today. And um, apologies for being a little rough around the edges. However, um, I really hope that it supports you. And what I wanted to leave you with is that you ultimately are at choice in the vibration that you carry in your body and that there's a way to do this without having to run around and fix your external world so that it supports the vibration that you want to be experiencing that you can actually start on the inside first choose the vibration call upon your higher self to work with the energetic fields to reflect that down to you here in the physical form and allow your a whole world to change literally from the inside out. Uh, now, in my next video that I'm going to make, I, I just had this inspiration. Uh, you may have a question on how you keep your vibration high when you're in um, situations where other people are not vibrating at the same place that you are. What do you do about that? So that's another video that I'll create for you. I just want to leave you with this, that as high a vibration as you are on the inside, it makes you somewhat immune to what else is going on outside of you. If, if someone who is vibrating at a lower frequency, you are, that, that's like your emotional immunity, I guess you could say. And it is an invitation for them to choose it. Um, and that, that is my tip for you today and I hope you have fun playing with it, exploring it. I would love to hear uh, what has happened for you as you've played with changing your vibration and accessing whatever emotional state you choose. And until next time, bye for now. Have a beautiful one.